Hello guys, Nato Ace here and this will be a follow up on my Nintendo Direct story when is it going to come out. So of course, here's a recap of what's happening. So there was a rumor that supposedly in the month of June 12, there was supposed to be Nintendo Direct either on the 15th or the 16th. And there were a lot of people, but to some extent, nothing personal, Switch Force kind of pushed that, that he believed 99.9% that it was real. And according to him, he had talked with people, he had saw the evidence, and he had his own reliable source that he can't with disclosure it. Again, that's not my business. That he felt like, yes, there will be an Nintendo Direct, of course. You know what happened? Nothing happened there. And then after that, Alana Pierce said, well, I heard a Nintendo Direct on the 29th. And then again, you got those leakers, those insiders, they're saying now, yeah, we are hearing talks that is the 29th. And I said that on the previous video, does it make sense? Yeah, do I really need a Nintendo Direct? Well, for me personally, no. I don't know about you guys, but again, you know, it is what it is. Some say no, some say yeah. So that's the gist of the story there. And of course, Nintendo just announced there is a Nintendo Direct, but focusing on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So they're really pushing this game. And my guess really is that they really want those sales. I have the first two, and to some extent, they're good. If you play Final Fantasy 12, then you'll understand how the game mechanic goes. But they're good, the story's good, and at least it even has English dub. Thank you, Nintendo. I wish those detective games have English dub, but that's a different story there. Yeah, there is a Nintendo Direct, but it's not the one that most people wanted because it's focusing on one game. Unless you're an uber fan of that franchise, chances are you're probably not going to care because a lot of the comments is like, great, 20 minutes of a game that I don't give a shit. So some people kind of say it's a good thing. Why? Oh, because maybe now they don't have to talk about it on a general Nintendo Direct. Again, will there be? Who knows? Do I care? No. But it will be interesting. What would happen if there isn't? Are the Nintendo fans, or should I say the super fans, are going to react to it? Are they going to get frustrated again? Because on the video itself, you notice, know, besides showing Switch Force's picture, which is, yes, it addressed it. If you needed to apologize, that'd be a different story. I might give my thoughts about the whole situation. Uh, kind of like my thoughts about him. Spoiler, I don't think he's, again, it's a bad guy. However, the way I see about him is, and I gotta give credit to Nintendo Prime as well, because he kind of he kind of know him a bit more than I do, is that Switch for judging by the name, he is a Nintendo fan, but to some extent, he's a Nintendo loyalist. So basically what it is is, that he really, really support, to some extent, respect Nintendo. So when he's trying to talk about something negative, he kind of hesitant because that's what a loyalist is. I mean, there's a bit of bias, yes, but they're not blinded as a fanboy. But to some extent, you kind of see his belief. But that will be a different story there. So again, the, the idea of this video is that, yeah, there's a direct the Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I mean, I'll watch it because I do am interested of the game. So with that said also, another thing that I said in that video was it's kind of like an Uber candy that you can't stop eating. And I showed a picture of a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase of July of 2020. So for people who don't know why I referenced that. So if you know what happened in 2020, there was a pandemic. Unfortunately, but it is what it is. A lot of businesses got screwed. I'm not gonna talk about that, but you get the basic idea. So Nintendo as well did get screwed, whether you like it or not. So there was a mini direct at March of 2020, and then nothing, there was no E3 2020. And then there was some sort of like a presentation on Paper Mario, the Origami King, and Bakugan, of course. Paper Mario is good, but it's not like the old one, which a lot of people like, including myself. Bakugan, Bakugan, whatever it is, what it is there. So, for a while, June, July, August, September, October, there was a partner showcase. 20 minutes of just what games are going to come out. And instead of being happy that there's a Nintendo Direct, they were not happy. Which Force was not happy. Nintendo Prime was not happy to some extent, feeling frustrated. Because they were showing games that, I guess, for weird reason. 
they don't like, but they're showing games for the Switch at least. And they're getting frustrated. August Partner Showcase, Mini Direct. Not happy. September 1 was a bit getting better. October, they did good, better information. But I think what made it up is the 35th anniversary Mario Direct in 2020 of September. I think that's what happened there. But yeah, but you can tell, like, they were frustrated. Even for me personally, like, I'm so confused, but there's a lot of games on the Switch, and you're frustrated that during the summer 2020, Nintendo did a direct, but it wasn't to your liking. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. I did give my thoughts about it, and I also want to give credit to Dreamcast guy, because he even did say that, hey, look, you know, at least they're showing something what's going on there. So, yeah, so that particular part there, that's why I showed that, because is it a problem if there's no Nintendo Direct for June, because they used to do it before? Chances are, for the super fan, that's probably going to be the frustration. And even if they do show a Nintendo Direct, what are they going to show? Something from 2022 to 2023. But and then, another Nintendo Direct is going to be on fall, usually another pattern. And then what? What are they going to announce? Same thing again. What, games all the way to the end of 2022 to 2023? Again? So, kind of weird. I mean, the whole point of the E3 Nintendo Direct was to show more information of games that's already been released and some hint of game of, I get to something, like I said, end of the year to the next year, something. Again, who knows what it is. This week is the Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So I'm going to be watching that. I'm going to give my thoughts about it. A bit of a spoiler is that that's going to be the final video on the Summer Games Special 2022. I'm probably not going to include the Nintendo Direct if there is one, because like I said, chances are there is, but I'm just going to wait and see. You know, don't care about what the leaker said, whatever said, if it's true, great, if it's not, great. Just to some extent, be prepared when people get frustrated and suddenly hashtag go touch some grass. Like, seriously, like, why do they always say that when there's frustration? I mean, you did it upon yourself and now you're frustrated and telling people vice versa, go touch some grass. I don't get that, but whatever. It is what it is there. So, Yes, this week, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, the 29th, we'll see if there is going to be a Nintendo Direct or not. And if it's not, then you know what's going to reaction is going to be. I mean, like I said, it could be on July. Maybe they're going to put it there. And then maybe there'll be one at September, October. Who knows? So just, again, kind of like what Data Hate said, patient is the key. And a lot of the super fans, sadly, to some extent, they don't have the patience. Who knows? Anyway, those are my thoughts and the follow-up on the Nintendo Direct story. Yes, like I said one last time, there is one with the Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Not a lot of people are happy about that, and they're still hoping for that major general Nintendo Direct that's supposedly coming out on the 29th. So with that, I'll see you guys later.